All right, you guys, today I check out how to make this Memphis spline here in Blender. So this whole thing started with this tutorial I made a couple of weeks ago. And after that, I made an experiment video in Firefly to see how is this going to reproduce in 3D. And about least, I did manage to reproduce that in Blender. So let's take a look. So first I made the type and vectors in Illustrator using the pen tool. Now, of course, this was made after a sketch. And as you can see, it's fully made out of strokes and it's fully customizable. So this is what we need. You also can create this directly in Blender with Bezier curves, but now we're gonna do it in Illustrator because it's smoother. If you wanna do the same, you can go to the fill, click on the non, click on the stroke and select the color for it. And I'm gonna go, for example, select the pencil. And with this, you can draw whatever you like. By the way, to make it curvy, you also can double click on the pencil and make it smooth as possible. I went with these options, click OK. And then you also can go to the object path and select smooth. And with this handle, you can smoothen out the letter to make it even better. In my situation, I selected the pen tool and just made it perfect with paths and handles. All right, so after you are done, you can select the composition. Let's go to asset export, click on the plus, and this is gonna add the vector right here and we're gonna change it to SVJ. Click on export. All right, so now we're gonna to go to Blender and I'm gonna delete everything. Go to file, go to import and select scalable vector graphics. And here I'm gonna to go to the SVJ, select the file, click on import. And I'm gonna zoom in because it's really small, select it. And I'm gonna press the letter S, scale it up. And as you can see, we got a total mess here. So don't worry about it, we can fix that. I'm gonna deselect and select what are the shapes and we're gonna go here to the data. And let's go to active spline and make sure to uncheck the cyclic U. And check this out, now we go back to normal. I'm gonna select the rest, uncheck the cyclic and there you go. All right, so after that, we're gonna need to turn these into splines. So for example, I'm gonna select the letter P. I'm gonna go to geometry and here we're gonna go to the bevel depth. I'm gonna increase it to 0.002. And as you can see, it is going to fill it only in half. So we got like a half spline going on here. So let's go to the shapes and we got here the fill mode and change it to none. So as you can see, now I got the full spline, but it looks like a tube because it's uh, it has a hole. So we're gonna need to fill that up. So I gotta select it and make sure to check fill caps. So now it is ready. I'm also gonna select the second one and I'm gonna repeat the same step. Let's go to depth, 0.002. And as you can see, it is going to mess it up, but don't worry about it. We're gonna to go to the fill mode, change it to none, and it's gonna mess it up even more. So in order to make this disappear, all you need to do is go here to the shape, and here we got the 2D, and you're gonna to need to change it to 3D. So now you got back to normal. And of course, I also gonna go and select the letter P and change up the color. So I'm gonna go here to the material and change the base color to some light. Make sure that the P is selected and we're gonna go here to the corner and we're gonna change it to edit mode from the object mode. And now we're gonna customize the letter P only. So I'm gonna rotate it this way and you can see here these paths or bezier. And I'm gonna go and select this one and I'm gonna select the move tool and for example, I'm gonna bring it upwards. And as you can see, nothing is happening because I forgot to activate here the data, the 3D. So I'm gonna switch it to 3D and I'm gonna try to bring it up and check this out, now it's working. But I'm gonna bring it downwards and there you go. Now it starts to come together. We're also gonna to need to rotate this area right here. So I'm gonna select this one and I'm gonna press the letter R for rotate. And I'm gonna rotate it and check this out, and it's doing its magic. And I'm also gonna do with this one, press the letter R, rotate, and the letter P is already. So the more issues we got here at the letter A and the letter N, you can see it's kind of messed up at this point. And as you can see, I cannot select anything because I need to go out of the edit mode to object mode, and I'm gonna go and select this part. Now it is highlighted. I'm gonna press the letter tab or you can go back and select edit mode. So now I can see the paths. So for example, I'm gonna go and select this path. And as you can see, we got two handles on each other. So I can select one of the handles and I'm gonna bring it up and I'm gonna bring it on the right and make it curvy. I'm gonna select the bottom one and repeat the same step, something like this. Now this is going to work your skills quite a bit, but it's good. And I'm gonna go back to the object mode and I'm gonna select the letter P and I'm gonna dress this up with texture. All I need to do is go here to the shading. 
Let's go to Shader Editor. I'm going to click on the X, click on the New, and I'm going to rename this as Memphis Pattern. And here I'm going to press Shift plus A, search for Image Texture, Enter. Let's go and search for Mapping. And I'm also going to search for Texture Coordinate. And here I'm going to connect the UV to Vector, a Vector to Vector, Color to Color Base. And for the texture, I'm going to go with this. I'm going to export it as a JPEG. And I'm going to import here in Blender. And let's go to the Image Texture here. Click on Open. And here I'm going to go and select this texture. Click on Open. If you want to customize the texture, all you need to do is go here to the mapping where the scale is. And with the Y, you can make it more dense. For example, 1.5. And with the X, you can stretch it or make it more condensed. I'm going to go with 1.2. And all you need to do is repeat this step with the rest. And pretty much that's it. Thanks for watching.